Hello, my name is Hayden Wayne. Welcome to the Howland Cultural Center. It is April 9th, Friday, and spring has sprung. Things are beginning to bud, which is absolutely lovely. Let me read our opening preamble. Recognizing the power of the word as an instrument to promote and protect democracy, as well as our moral responsibility to promote and protect literacy and moral rectitude, in accordance and support of our most precious Constitution, we pledge that we, as citizens of these United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Swear to promote and protect what has been ordained and established as our Constitution for the United States of America, and as such, offer proof of our witness to the power of the word through the offerings of our work in order to not only demonstrate for all conscious souls to experience, but leave an ongoing legacy for our actions are the actions of the future. And as such, recognize this moment as sacred for the next seven generations. I thought tonight I would do a retrospective visit some old friends. This is from Barking at the Moon and Other Conversations with the Sun. This is the text to my sixth symphony, which is a choral symphony. Children, listen to my words. My name is Peace, and I'm glad to see you free. Children, innocence becomes you, such a world of wonder in your eyes. Children, I will give you knowledge, and the wisdom and the power to see the light. My name is Love. I shall caress you like the morning dew upon the grass, so green, so sweet, so lush. The sky is so blue, the air sweet with birdsong, the earth rich with fruit for all who share the word of love. Lay down with me, secure in this protecting love, which will shelter you beneath its wings and keep you safe throughout the night. Waiting your embrace, wanting your embrace, needing your embrace. The sky is so blue. The air sweet with bird song, the earth rich with fruit for all who share the word of love. I am. I always was. I always will be. Love with all your heart, mind, and soul. Life without law has no order. Life without hope has no purpose. Life without honor is worthless. Life without love, there's no life. Love. Honor your mother and father. Love. Honor your children. Honor yourself. That's how you honor me. Love. Fruit for all who share the word of love. Life 
is so precious. Life is so sacred. Do unto others as you wish they would do unto you. Love. Be steadfast and loyal to the lessons I teach and your mind and spirit will soar through all eternity. Love. Do not pervert what is holy. Thou shalt not covet. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Do not deface what I have created. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not commit murder. Lay down with me secure in this protecting love which will shelter you beneath its wings and keep you safe throughout the night. Alaf hey yad hey. Alaf shinrish. Alaf hey yad hey. Alaf hey yad hey. Yad hey va hey. Alaf hey yad hey. Yad hey va hey. Breathe deep. Simply clear your mind. Listen to the rhythm of your life. Yad Eva Eh. And in time you will find Aleph Shin Rish, who you've always been, from where you have come, and where you will go. Aleph Hey Yad Hey. Aleph Shin Rish. Breathe. Feel because I feel. 
You taste because I taste. You hurt because I hurt. You are the wine I drink. I am the bread you eat. Time has come for you to understand. Eat this fruit. Learn all there is to learn. Open up to all there is to know. If you resist, Ash, you will never change the way you are. Aleph Yad Sheen. Without me, you will always be at war. Fire. Blood. Eat this fruit. Time begins with you and I, our first embrace. We eat the fruit from paradise, release our immortality, and start anew. Start anew. Such a static state before our kiss, not knowing what we would miss, but we were born, and now the tree of life awaits our tender care. Our tender care. Plant your seeds inside of me, and we will bear the children of the world. Lift up your eyes on high, Behold who has created thee. Breathe the sweetness of the earth and the refreshing waters of the sea and all our children who are born into this world, into this world to come. Sin there is no. There's a spiritual path where the soul can rejoice. The nature of humanity, a simple choice. People sin when they don't recognize their spiritual nature and where it lies. Instead, they love entrapments of the material world deceptive bodily passions, and they find themselves hurled down. Down a narrowing life. Down. Petty wants, not need. Deceiving them, leading them, insatiable greed, unrequited lust, which nothing can fulfill. And then their life is over, and they find they're wanting still. This is not about sin. This is the true nature of humanity. Sin. There is no. Peace becomes you. Peace becomes us all. When we are one with the world, the world is one with us. If we choose, if we choose goodness, honesty, sincerity, openness, tolerance, empathy, humility, compassion, kindness, Peace becomes you. Peace becomes us all. Indifference. Peace becomes you. Selfishness. Arrogance. Peace becomes us all. Greed. Nihilism. Dishonesty. Prejudice. When we are one with the world, 
wickedness, depravity. The world is one with us. Hatred, if we choose. Malignancy, if we choose. Death to the messenger. Hatred, 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 hatred. Revelation comes in the moment you are still. Peace becomes you. Peace becomes us all. When we are one with the world, the world is one with us. If we choose. If we choose. Goodness, honesty, sincerity, openness, tolerance, empathy, humility, compassion, kindness, love. That is from the Choral Symphony Number no. 6, The Gift. That's with him barking at the moon and other conversations with the sun. I close the book with a piece that I wrote March 23rd, 2012. In the in-between, where nothing exists, from the totality where all creation comes, I find myself in the center of extraordinary forces of violence and negativity. Dark, demonic forces interfering with the vision of light's perfection, which I hold with all my soul. One can so easily hide in the dark as opposed to the light where everything is exposed. This swirling storm intensifies to complete its purpose of total destructive corruption. I also know, in spite of this cataclysmic, seemingly insurmountable juggernaut, 
totality is totality and thus everything exists. So it is up to us to retain either in this static, perpetual, nihilist conflict or consciously engaged in reaching for the light of synergy and perpetual regeneration. It is with this in mind I visualize the greenness of our precious earth, the sanctity of the womb and the sacred feminine, the purity of our most valuable possessions, water and air, the blueness of an unencumbered sky and ocean, the warmth of humanism and the responsibility of guardianship for future generations. It is with this that I momentarily leave you in dialogue, so to completely immerse myself in this invocation, my symphony number nine, the hoop of life, as a tool to unify the consciousness of light to these ends. Upon my return, though I will always be with you, I will share the discovered inroads to these portals where time is of no consequence because it simply is. Where everything is possible because it always has been. Where the power of oneness is the ultimate evolution towards subsequent inevitable regeneration. This circle, this hoop of life, is the center of consciousness itself. It is, it always has been, and will always be. As I write this, a small bird has flown in through an open door of my home and cries out. Olivia is barking as the bird continues to speak. Taking it in my hands, I feel its heart heavily beating as I calmly try to reassure its safety as I would a frightened child gently stroking the back of its head, the nape of its neck and back as I walk with it outside. Olivia is still barking as we let it fly free. Barking at the moon and other conversations with the sun. Well, I mentioned symphony number nine, which is the invocation. Isa liha nanak si hawi na titla. 
saku iida i sa elohi. Alewi sa torta no alia lisa. Naku ale iko hi ta kukesa. Tlago husita yo gaduli. Gayulani gade ergi ne la i. On this evening of the full moon, I am bark. I am walking in the middle of your soul. Hear my voice as it carries on the wind. Face the east and see my smile, which will warm you and remind you of how it has always been between Father Sky and Mother Earth, how we are born again and again with the planting for the harvest, how we grow wise with the ripening of our endeavors, united under the scars, one with the universe, suspended in time, now and forever, we ask for nothing. We have already been given everything. This is off the edge of the planet and hanging by my fingertips. Hippopotamus, hippopotami, octopus, octopi, rhinoceros, rhinos, rhin? No, 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 no. Like bus and more than one bus, buses, rhinoceros, rhinoceroses. Cactus, cacti, anus, ain't I? No! Anuses like stars that fill the sky, alumnus, alumni, platypuses, not platypi. You know I want to touch your thigh to play upon your trusses, or is that try I must? As my fingers climb so high without your fusses, fire a fi on you and us's, on rejection and the cusses. Amorous, amor am I, not to crush, but to fly. Stimulus and stimuli, radius, radii, to pry, stretch the passion. My, oh my, courteous, not curt hereby. Cumulus and cumuli, cue the moment as you cry out for me to satisfy your spirit and your gushes, spread butterfly without the blushes, endless floating and the rushes. Then the memories we discusses, just the use and eyes and us's. I know I was little before I was born, but that was a long time ago. Yesterday, as a matter of fact, a moment of fancy inflating into ever-expanding consciousness and all I see is you, the witness of my purpose. Old souls reconnecting again and again, battle-worn but healed enough not to be swayed by the bruises, reborn with the lightness of being, and proving with age timeless and one. Think of thee, thy, and thou. How thought of those thick-tongued who shouteth the breath and depth of all who cheateth, then answer us as they will with teeth, a wreath for truth they bequeath 
which lies beneath all who doubteth and beateth with their wrath down a path uncouth. But do the math, such misfaith defeateth youth and eateth hope and layeth room forthwith. This is the sixth and seventh movement from the hoop of life. If, if, if linear time no longer exists where everything that was, is, what is, and will be, is, if, there is this particle, this ether beyond matter itself. If, and it determines the very existence of matter. If, if our birth in a billionth of a billionth of a billionth of a second as when this morning we awoke, is this nothing more than consciousness? If, if, if this is consciousness, how do we choose to be conscious? How do we choose to dream? How do we choose to be? To be. To be remembered. For surely consciousness is what we choose to be conscious of. If, if, if we restore all the deserts from the sands of an active mind, the Garden of Eden returns, so rich, so lush, so pure, with not only fruit in abundance, but knowledge from the ages, the oceans of consciousness, completing the circle, completing the self, completing the soul, completing the unity, completing the hoop of life. Off the edge of the planet, hanging by my fingertips. Here's some love poems. Hey. 
Have I not always come to thee as if the morning sun, with sails so full, from winds so stiff, so wrongs can be undone? A howling gale can blow against the soul till eyes can't see, but just as well it pushes at my back and you to me. How fresh this breeze does blow with all its promise yet to come. How sweet its breath, the rich bouquet of scented lands it's from. And what of all the stars when swept across the endless skies? And what of all the timeless souls so deep within your eyes? I cannot imagine life without you by my side. I cannot imagine breaking bonds because of pride. What I can imagine is two worlds becoming one and spend our lives entwined until our time is finally done. But is it ever over in this web of silken ties as we count upon the stars and cast our wishes towards the skies? For I too am a dreamer sailing through this endless sea, solar tossed on heaven's wings, which then brought you to me. Too often I have viewed the world where I was alone, an angry, self-afflicted hurt that I had to atone. I learned that all my world was only what I chose to be. The more I was aware to be aware, that I was free. So now this seasoned sailor who has sailed celestial skies has found his lifetime journey has always been within your eyes. And as this dawn awakens with its light so warm and true, feel the winds against your back, for they brought me close to you. My son was 46 when I was born, as I was 30 birthing with my father. And though as strange as it may seem, indifferent might one ask, why bother? But the light, the light, from which this journey does unfold, of the perfection we are to hold, from well-known stories yet untold, this light, forever fresh, things happen as they happen. Perfection is as perfection does. We are here to be because we have to, as with endless truth that always was. We have no other choice but to continue within this constant searching for our birth as fruit that bears the seeds for future harvest, our roots so firmly planted in the earth. That's from Dog is my co-pilot. Between the ears, behind the eyes, and from the heart. Within the fog of my exhaustion, I think of you. The depth of your passion, the soft inviting touch of all your lips, which engulfs me with such willingness, flexed with wanting, drowning me in unfathomable wetness, so united we could not separate our smells. This memory, which I call home, is so strong, beckoning me with your siren song while I sit out at sea, yearning to find your safe harbor once more. How I long to nestle along your warming shore. You 
feel most generous. I kissed you with the passion of a wild man, deprived of such abundance for so long, but still aware of all that is possible. How I undid you and how you allowed yourself to be undone, the spreading of your desire and all the succulence it brought forth. I embraced your teeming shore as you sheltered me once more, surrounding me, securing me again within you. Through all the tranquility of time and space, there is my addiction just to see your face. I am lost in every place without you. Show me where to come. Once again, I wish to enter your luscious harbor. The receptiveness of your lips and my need for repeated sips of the elixir to heal my arid void within. Flood me with your warming spring, refreshing this thirsty being, your legend that I now must sing for all eternity. The other who makes me whole as if we were but just one soul, a sea so still begins to roll, a tidal wave is rising, pushing me to your waiting arms. And as I slip into your port so deep, I'll moor securely. You will hold me fast and safe and dispel my fears and wanting. I will be at rest. Finally, at rest. Once more, a welcomed rest with you, whom I call home. The clothes you wear are nothing but a transparent veil to your nakedness, and in the rain your kiss demonstrates all that is possible. Your body receives me as does your mouth, rich with understanding, giving anything, everything, to be freely explored. Every time it rains, I think of our first kiss, the impenetrable wetness as if all the world were locked within our embrace, reaching for the center of our being, united in our desperate cause, a single raindrop awash in millions, warm, safe, and one. Dark, descending, alone, we took liberties, Desire crashing, raging, the elevator held secret our short descent. Open doors, light, eyes greet us, our heavenly journey still climbing. We stealthily disappear through the swarm. Overt, 19. Reckless, 18. Define, discovery, 16. 15. Gravity, 14. Surrounded, 13. Upturned eyes, 11. Pressed, 10. You to me, 9. 8. Your willingness, 6. 5. Oh my God. 3, 2, 1. Adrift. Weightless. Memories fade. Ripples upon a pond enveloped into glass, one with the horizon indiscernible, forgotten, haunted, a hangnail on nylon pulling the tranquil smoothness, disrupting continuity, now blemished, forever changed, a torn psyche incapable of returning, entering and exiting on mere whim, regardless of the weight which widens with time, leaving an indelible afterglow, phosphorus burning just below the surface, 
the fire smoldering beneath the heaving swells, breathing, sighing, refusing to calm itself. The moon stares obsequious then indifferent as does your face drifting in and out behind the clouds, reflections in a murky pond of constellations, celestial dandelions, a cornucopia of wonder. I find myself fixed upon the nebula Glorianus, through whose portal new worlds are to be explored. Time and space are of no consequence. We are all that matters, locked in a single embrace since the beginning of creation. Obsession, it hurts so good. A nosebleed at a time, pick the scab until it tears, scratch the darkest space and smell your fingers, a crowded room of adulation, yet take the beeline to the one who yawns. Is enough ever enough? As a seeker of wisdom and truth, I've sailed the seven seas and longed for human touch from women who aim to please. So humbled by their knowledge, I dropped down to my knees, submerged in thought by things they taught, visions one rarely sees. Once upon a voyage, I sought someone so dear and sliced through endless darkness so I could hold her near. At the time, I did not know it. I had not yet seen her smile, but compelled I was to find her, mile after endless mile. The ports of coal were many like the stars that filled the sky, a bounty of such rich wonder for this mariner to try. But in spite of all my conquests, I kept thinking of her face, the way she held and kissed me, and her exquisite grace. I was wrapped in my huge ego with so many dreams to fill, but nothing as important as my need to hold her still. Ripples on the water, a moon-filled night so clear, and through my years of searching, your soul I still hold dear. Did I not pay attention and let you slip away? For now, with many demons, I still look for you today. Where is this lost perfection? Where is thy love so true? Where ends my constant yearning? Are you searching for me too? Interesting enough, that collection was written April 7th, 2010. Completed two days ago, 12 years ago. <laughs>